multiple times in previous questions, you have mentioned the divine. So let's tackle that. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> so many people wonder about this big question. What is the divine? What is out there? Who is the creator? What is God? <laughs> so many religions are, have been based on this. They've been trying to answer this one question. So I have to get your take on it. What is the divine? What is your interpretation of it? Well, I'm not going to claim to have the answer to <laughs> <laughs> the question that has been around for the eternity. But the divine is incomprehensible. So even if I attempted to explain it, I can't fully explain it myself. It is something that transcends the limits of the intellectual rational mind. But we do have the gift as a human being to have a glimpse into what that divine essence is. And that's really what bhakti is, the unconditional love. So I define the divine as that which is unconditionally loving. And it is so loving that you just can't even fathom this energy. It is only sometimes in meditation that I have had the glimpse into um, what is beyond the mind. You know, so actually in 2018, I was in South Honduras in an island called La Isla del Tigre, sitting down during sunset. And I sat down for meditation. I didn't really think much of it. I was just sitting there. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend was there with me at the time. We're good friends now, Carl. And he was chilling. I was meditating. And I started to think about the concept of uh, Aham Brahmasmi, which means I am the divine or I am Brahman. And I did this meditation that came intuitively to, to myself. And I, I got into a state of samadhi. And samadhi is um, a state of absorption. So it transcends our mind. Uh, in a state of samadhi, you are not aware of the body. You are not aware of where you are. You are not aware of yourself. It's just something that is unexplainable. But in the samadhi, I experienced this combination of bliss, but also complete tranquility, complete harmony. And ultimately, it is the one thing that I know that that was true. So you know how everything can be debatable. But that was not. That was the thing that I know it was truth. There is nothing else that I have experienced with that much certainty except that. And that was a little glimpse into what the divine is to me. And even that moment really has sparked my entire life after that. Um, in the sense that, you know, I'm walking further and further in this path into not just the understanding of the divine, but more so um, just the devotion that comes after it, like the love that you develop to the divine source, the creator. The, and it's not just the creator, the divine is all qualities. It's the quality of creation, of destruction, of sustainer. It is everything. In the state of samadhi, what I experienced and understood is that everything was there. But at the same time, it didn't matter because it wasn't defined. There was, it was formless, it was undefined. But at the same time, it was absolute. Yeah. <laughs> powerful. <laughs> Very powerful. Wow. Um, well, I don't have a follow-up question to that. That's such a great memory. Thank you for sharing that, firstly. I can't even imagine what that experience or that feeling is like. And to be able to even get close to it, even to reach that state, you have to obviously uh, put in the work first and then hopefully you can achieve that level of blissfulness like you are trying to describe. Well, I'll cut you off there just because I don't want to forget this. But one mm -hmm. thing that's important to know is that out of all these different paths of yoga, for the time where we live right now, which is a time of a lot of chaos, a lot of distraction, the easiest thing that you can practice to cultivate this love is the path of bhakti or of mm -hmm. devotion. So just growing your capacity to love. And we've all experienced love in our lives. 
it comes in many forms. It comes as motherly love, as friendly love, as a crush, as um, a, a fatherly love, different types of love. So with the path of bhakti, you learn to kind of break down those limits as to, you know, you can love in this way or the other, but know that love is free and limitless and unconditional. And that's going to get you close to this state of divinity or understanding the divine, who we truly are, because we are this transcendent love. 